slow tonight. Mm -hmm. I hate nights like this. Station's cold. Phone doesn't ring. Coffee tastes like shit. Coffee's fine. Yeah, if you like Arabian mud. <sighs> Didn't realize it was a race. Ten Acre Sheriff's Department. This is Sheriff Huckleberry speaking. How can I help you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold. Slow down, ma'am. Slow down. Now, just very calmly explain to me what's going on. Okay. All right, first of all, what's your son's name, ma'am? Scott Bender. Okay, Mrs. Bender, when was the last time you saw your son? Okay, well, I've got to tell you, you know, we have to wait at least 24 hours before we file a report. At the Ten Acres Lodge, huh? Okay, well, look, I'll tell you what. I will take a ride up there, and I will ask around and see if anybody's seen Scott, okay? No, it's, it, I'm glad to do it. I'll call you as soon as I know something. Okay, you're, you're quite welcome, Mrs. Bender. Okay, bye-bye now. What was that all about? <sighs> Missing persons report. Up at the lodge, huh? This kid's staying up at the lodge with the Olympic ski training school. He's been up there a week and a half. The ski trainer calls the mother, says he never showed up for trials yesterday, and there's been no sign of him today. Up at the lodge, huh? Well, that's where they're staying, I guess. Are you going up there, Trent? Well, uh, I've got nothing else to do. Yeah, well, you better get a move on it. The news is calling for some heavy snow. You don't want to get stuck up there in those mountains in that piece of crap car of yours. My car is a classic. Yeah, classic piece of shit. Clovis, just stay here and answer the phones on the off chance that someone might call, okay? Yeah, you got it, boss. 10 4. Yeah, so what's up, Officer Scott? Hey, where's Trent going? Hey, he's heading up to 10 acres. You gotta hear what I just heard on the radio. Oh yeah, what's that? Yeah, buddy, yeah. Bro, the trunk. Yo, 
Oh man, just seven hours for this? Yeah, it better be for two hundred dollars a night. Yo, money's not the freaking option. I just hope the skiing's good. Well, you see, Clark Bell, Ten Acres is known for its impeccable scenery and romantic weather. In the early 1870s, travelers settled here in Ten Acres due to its rich natural habitat. The mountains, they flourished with wild game, and boysenberries grew in fields as far as the Dude, eye could see. who the fuck brought this guy? <laughs> Yo, this place is the best Mary J in the country, man. I can't wait to smoke that shit. My cousin came up here once to score, he never even came back. What do you mean he never came back? Yo, I'm gonna try and find that shit that makes Jersey weed look like oregano. Bring it back to everybody. Come on already. I'm cold, tired, and horny. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Marty, the bags. Excuse me, my dude. I'm already carrying Clark and Sasha's bags. I'm not allowed to press it here on the first day. <laughs> Put a ring for it. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Marty, while you're at it, buddy, move the car. Yeah, thanks, buddy. This is such a douchebag. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. How you doing? Uh, How are you? Reservation for Stephen Barry. Oh, let's see. Four rooms, single beds. Gotcha. Stephen, I told you I wasn't comfortable sharing about you Ever, it's been almost a month, but I think it's time to take it to the next level, don't you think? Seriously? <laughs> Brother Pony Boy here will uh, carry your bags to your room for you. Dude, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, kid, so small. I'll get Marty to get the bag. Well, he's 50 years old. <laughs> what are you kidding me? Marty, what the fuck, man? Why don't you take a picture? It might last you longer. <laughs> Clark, you're the best. Go get my girl a drink, man. She's a little thirsty. Um, sure, you got it. It's on me. No, really? Yeah. Make it orange. Orange, Thank no you. problem. Excuse me, ladies. Do you know where the soda machine is? No, sorry. All right, well, thanks anyway, ma'am. Ma'am? Aw, look how cute he is. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever called me cute before. Do you have a girlfriend? Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm currently uh, between girls. Yeah. Oh, wow, <laughs> how good for us. Huh? Because, you know, between girls is exactly the way we like our men. <laughs> mm. You should meet us for a drink later in our room. Yes, you must. Um, oh, I'll see if I can make it. We're in room 211. What's your name? Um, Marty. Oh, I like that name. <laughs> Marty. Uh, drinks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can do that. <laughs> well, if you're a good boy, we might play. Oh, oh yeah. You guys got video games? <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. Um, no, we have something a little different in mind. <laughs> That kind of play, Marty. Right, right. Uh, uh, 211, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can do that. No problem, no problem. I'll see you later, my fair lady. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, guys! Jeez. Marty, man. Lesbians, lesbians, they want me, they want me! Just take it easy. <laughs> What's going on, Marty? They, lesbians, they want me. They said I'm cute. <laughs> Does lesbians also mean blind? Oh, come on! <laughs> Don't ruin my moment! Oh, Steven, Steven, should I wear any cologne? <laughs> Marty beat it, man. Uh, okay, I bid you adieu. <laughs> Have fun! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> Anything?
looking for my hammer bear. Hmm. I love it. I think you deserve it. Steven, stop. Steven, I said stop. What? I'm just not ready yet, Steven. When are you going to be ready? I don't know. Why do you give me such a tease? I'm not. You know what? I'm going to go find Marty. No. No, stay here with me. Stay here and do what? Watch TV? We have a nice room. Just let's cuddle. Cuddle? Cut yourself. I'm out of here. A lady problem, son? <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. I'll walk with you. Maybe I can help you out. Yo, man, that's crazy, baby. Ooh, oh, baby. Man. Can't nobody beat the chair. Can't nobody beat the chair. Ah, yeah, man, he knocked him out, baby. Oh, ain't man. going away to the top, baby. Those are all hype, man. Oh, man, you just hate him. Man, so, anyone could have beat that bum, man. man. <laughs> he had a glass straw Rocky Balboa to knock them out, man. Yo, why are you down with the team, then, man? Why am I down with yeah. the team? I'm the guy who trains the guy, man. He moves like a duck, man. I should be the champ. Man, you always hate him, man. Man, I took that man 10 rounds. You think he's holy field. Ten rounds. I took he knocked you out. Man, Ooh. I told you I slipped. Man, if, if I ever get my chance. Shut to... the fuck up, Todd. See? You had your That's chance, nigga. You want to go again? Let's go. I'm going to shut the fuck up and go upstairs. We got a problem with that? Nah, 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 nah. Take your ass upstairs. No problem, champ. Damn! Oh. oh. Shit, good. Oh. I'm as deep as I can go. Put it in my ass. Three again. Fucking kids. Can't believe these fucking kids. Jesus Christ. What's wrong, guys? All I want to do is come here, watch the game. I can't do it. Because these goddamn fucking kids are all in noise. Basketball game. Why don't you uh, come and lay down, sweetheart? Lay down? You want me to... I can't relax. I can't relax. Where's the phone? I'm calling the front desk. These it's kids are going to learn some respect. There's got to be a phone in here somewhere. Nice place you picked, Emma. Real nice place you picked. Not a phone in the whole goddamn room. Zaggots gave it four stars. Zaggots? I tell you what, Zach. Hey, I got you, Zach. Get right here. When I get back to Long Island, no, fuck right that guy a little. I'm gonna strangle the son of a bitch. Zaggots. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Oh my God. That's it. Ah. That's it. Dust. Gotta get out of here. Just come over here and relax, will ya? Why couldn't we stay at that nice little Indian joint down the hill, down the hill over here? Are you kidding me? They probably got a phone. And the casino. I gotta come here. Whoa. Be right back. I gotta go first. I like lollipops. <laughs> so I see. You're cute. You, you want to come back to my room and play? I, uh, I, uh, I was just coming for ice. <laughs> Boo. Come on, party animal. Well, they used to call me the pit bull when I was younger. <laughs> it was like the berry to bone. I bet you still have some party left in you. Yeah, 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 I got some party left. <laughs> My name's Beverly. I'm in room 27. You should come stop by. Yeah, 27. <laughs> what, you want a marathon? I thought you went to get ice. Fuck the ice. Daddy's home! <laughs> 
favorite son? Sheriff, I'm really not in the mood. Well, you better get in the mood, because I have some people missing. That Skiers, mostly. And the last time they were seen, they were staying right here at your lodge. A boy by the name of Scott Bender... Never heard of him. ...been staying here with the Olympic Ski School for the last week. Does that ring a bell, Clint? I can't be expected to know everybody's name that's here. You see, Clint... This is not the way you want to go here, okay? See, because when you lie to me, when you obstruct my investigation, you're committing a felony. And a felon does not let, get to keep his liquor license, okay? So what you want to do here is cooperate, let me take a look around, leaf through your reservation book, so forth, maybe have a little chat with the ski instructors, okay, Clint? Do whatever the hell you want. Now, why don't you just make yourself comfortable these people are on the slopes. They'll get here when they get here. Okay, then I'll just wait. Make yourself comfortable. Kiss my ass. Probably just that swine flu that's been going around. I've seen it a million times. Last time I heard Carl swine flu will make you attack people and eat flesh. Well, um, in some cases. Hi, I'm Dr. Crowley. I'd like to just ask you some questions. Are you feeling any kind of pain anywhere? Are you having chest congestion? Well, here, let me try and take your temperature. Hey, 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 I'm just trying to help. Let me try and take your temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Clint, where is your phone? Just get back. McCoy, gather your guests and meet me in the lobby. All right, but there'll be no refund. Just do it! Shut up! Everybody, just stay calm. What's going on? Were those people eating that man? They don't look like people. What do you think, Rex? They're eating people, but they're not. They're not people. Hey, yo, Marty, why don't you go check this out? Eat a dick, man! You go out there! You getting mouthy, punk? <laughs> Clark, my man, come on, now's the time. I swear to Christ, Marty. My phone doesn't work! What do you mean it doesn't work? Did you charge it? Yeah, just no signal. Same, no signal. Yeah, Sheriff, why don't you go radio your station? My CB's in the car, McCoy. Go ahead and use it, then. You know how to use this, kid? 
Yo, I want a gun. Do I get a gun? Sorry, pal. I only carry two. Fuck this. Yo, Todd, go to the room and grab Annabelle for me. What's Annabelle? My 45. Of course. No <laughs> any, problem. Any more guns in the lot? <laughs> Do both frogs fuck on lily pads? Actually, a typical lily pad can't support an unladen bullfrog, much less two bullfrogs who are mid coited. Oh, shut the fuck up. Where are they already? Willie, that a seller get these people some guns. <laughs> Let's load up. Yo, what's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy, stay here and watch the ladies. Yo, 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 no offense, bro, but who the fuck put you in charge? Shut up and do it. Steven, be careful. You ready, kid? My name's Rex. Are you ready, Rex? Locked and loaded. You seen the game, kid. Leave the cliches at the door, okay? Hold on. I'm coming too. No, wait! Honey, I'll be okay, alright? Amber, please make sure she's safe inside. Do this. Ah, kid. Don't worry about it, alright? Stay inside. Stay with everybody else. Stop, or I will shoot you! Don't aim for the head! Yo, shoot him in the head! What? Why? Oh, he's saying shoot him in the head! Shoot him in the head! Shoot him in the head. Go out there, oh, man. Oh, I'm not going out there. You go out there. <laughs> no, you going out there. Why well, I'm going out there? Because they want you, man. You been nice and good, baby. No, I'm not going out there. I'm not going out there. Huh. Ain't no way on God's green earth I'm going out there with them things out there. Man, they want you, baby. You got to go out there. I'm skinny like a chicken wing. You fat like pork chop. You go out there. Man, all I know is little Matt and Lily ain't going nowhere. What's up, guys? Where's Clark? Your dog, your brother. No! Hey, 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 relax, relax. Get the fuck um, off me! Shut the up! Handle, Shut up! Fuck you! Get the fuck off me! Relax. relax! Calm down! Calm down! Everybody, please, just sit down. What? What is going on? I wish I knew. I just want to go home. Chicky, I don't think home's there anymore. Why do you say that? Babe, what do you want me to say? Everything's honky-dory? They don't even fucking look human. Is there TV down here? Quint doesn't believe in televisions. Well, they do exist. Well, uh, maybe we should introduce ourselves. Um, my name's Marty. I'm 21 years old. I enjoy math and uh, logic puzzles, and today I lost my ver- Bro, this isn't the dating game. Sorry. I think it would be smart if we all just stayed here together. I'm not going anywhere while this thing's out there. Everything okay? You okay? Just leave me alone. So, uh, what's the plan? Anybody come up with anything yet? 
Oh, uh, well, Dingleberry wants us to stay here. That's Huckleberry. Other than we're stuck here and truly fucked? No. Uh, what are you, like a pro wrestler or something? <laughs> Not quite, little man. Call him the champ. The champ? Champ of what? Champ of Hudson County Community Center Boxing. Super heavyweight division. <laughs> the champ of Hudson County, huh? <laughs> don't say. This here be the clock, baby. All right, enough. My name's Cody. These are my homeboys right here. Sweet James, Savell, and my main man, Little Mac, right, right here. I'm Little Mac Millie. Yeah. Cody, you think you'll have time to spar with me later? Not a problem. After we get through this, my man, I'll teach you my uppercut. Hey, I got the radio to work. I guess we know now it's not just happening here. But they are dead, no? Or just sick? My guess is both. Don't you guys ever read comic books? Did you all see their friend Terran as soon as he got beaten? Shit's intense. How many you think is out there? I'd say about 17. Look. Out in the trees. There's more wandering out there. I see something in the pasture. It looks like people. They're heading this way. We need to let them in. Well, they're not coming in here. Let him in, Willie. Oh, no, I decide who comes in and who down. They're not coming in. Are you nuts? We have to help these people. Rick, door. The. <laughs> Nightmare up there! The town is being overrun by these things. Oh, shit. One got me. Jesus, you need medical attention, the son. The hospital's gone. What? Let's rephrase that. The hospital was in flames as we ran by it. There's things like the came out like a horse and shit. I still can't get that image out of my head. Great. How did it bite you? Damn thing crept up behind me on Henderson Street downtown. I'm Blaze. It's my girlfriend Nikki and my friends Emily and Casey. Anyway, we were down at the Wilmore Diner when our family's birthday. And suddenly 20 of those things come running down the road. After cars, people. Anything and everyone that was running on that road. <coughs> oh, I like that diner. I used to go there twice a week. I don't think that diner's there anymore. We ran to our car, but just like this around us, we had no choice but to run. And that's, that's when I got bit. This is all too weird. I can't believe any of this. Just look outside. You can't be as blind as you, as you are beautiful. He's right. It's all around. I'm, I'm not feeling too well. I, I, I need to sit down. Somebody give him some water. Here. How about a scotch? Neat. Scotch, seven dollars. The man says scotch. Neat. Okay, Mr. Clock. Hey, what's up, man? You're Blaze, right? Uh, Huh? I love huh? that name, man. I think I'm gonna name my first born son that. I'm glad I can make an impact. <coughs> Buster, get away from him. <coughs> oh, oh, oh! <coughs> Blaze! Blaze! <coughs> He's puking oh, all over the place! Did somebody shoot Please. him? He's done to do one of these! Shoot him, Shreve! <coughs> So why are you just gonna shoot him? Just effing do it already! Please, no, no, he's not safe! How can you shoot a freaking innocent person? Somebody better get her away from him before she gets hurt! Sorry, no scotch. Motherfucker! Holy shit. What's going on there? Let me see. I'm the colonel, let me work. Get out of you, silly weakling! Let a oh, real man do the shit. work! What? 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 Give me this pistol, let me what see. Is, is it loaded? Oh, how do you work these things? Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. What the oh, fuck? He just blood him off! I didn't do it! Dude! Why do you shoot yourself in the head? That's I'd say, nasty. I'd say he's dead. Oh, anyway, <laughs> nice hook, Jim. Alright, let's move it. Let's not throw somebody. Do it,
Where's Tyvel? Homie must have jetted out the back door. Enough this shit! Let's find tools and board this place up! Make sure our doors are locked and secure. Where the ladies at? Oh, my man brought them into the bar. They better not be drinking Clint's booze. Now that handsome brigade has made it to bar, how about we come up with some kind of plan, eh? <laughs> you thought those guys were handsome? I think he was finding humor through sarcasm. It's a common defense mechanism when your life is in danger. The plan is to defend this lodge at any cost. Yeah, and we shouldn't let any outsiders in. They might be infected. These are all brilliant ideas, but let's start by boarding up these doors and windows. Find some tools. Can you say champagne? Because I'll be in the bar. Hey, me too. Real nice, guys. Don't worry, I will help you. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, 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 Very good, very good. That's good. Hey, where have you been? I knocked on your door. I've been a little busy. So, uh, what's with all the commotion? Look outside, sir. Hmm. What's going on, guy? Hey, what are those things? But it looks like some serious shit. We don't know. People are just sick and acting crazy. Oh my god, I can't get sick. I'm a trophy wife. Right. Honey, what are we gonna do? <laughs> you hear that? That's the only motherfucking cure to get rid of those things. Gus, we need to get out of here. I feel fine. Don't worry about it. We got it, yeah. So, uh, you guys got a plan? You're looking at it. That's your plan. You're sitting here playing cards with strawberry shortcakes? Oh, Jesus. We can't make to any of our cars. We tried. There's just too many of them out there. Oh, what about Jimmy? That's right. Hey, who's was Jimmy. He's my guy. He's one of my cougines. None of you! That fat fucking way! Him and his old lady just had to drop some cough, some membrane in the sticks. Hey, it's cold as fuck up here. It's messing with my hairstyle and my fucking gel is freezing. Brah, 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 I'm freezing my fucking cojones off here. It's dick shivering weather. Brah, hey, you better be recording an idol for me. Yeah, make sure my laundry's on when I get home, too. Yep, don't make me have to slap you again. All right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Love you too, man. Fuck's sake! You left Yonkers at about uh, 12 o'clock. You should be here by 8 a.m. I say we just sit back and wait for the cavalry to arrive. Because this shit ain't going to stop him. <laughs> Yo, Cody. Who this fake Liberace lover type clown think he talking to? Yeah, man, I don't have no clue, Pimpin, but I'll tell you what, I'll blast like 40 pounds off his fat ass. No doubt. Yo, Willie, do me a favor. Get two fucking pink umbrellas for these two fucking scumbags. Yo! What kind of guys are you? Can't even board up a window. What are you, the velvet mobs or two for noise? What are you doing? I'm doing fine, but this dipshit has feet for him. I'm <laughs> trying, it's too heavy. I don't believe this shit. Pick it up, move it out of here. Yo, what are you doing? Taking a break. Take a break? Take a break, there's no breaks. Get up off your fucking ass. Get to that cellar door, get going. Now! What's the problem? What are you doing, Holmes? Help him with the cellar door! Um, I'm the champ. I don't do doors. You I don't give I'm a saying? fuck who you are. And I don't give a fuck what you're saying. I don't do doors. You're doing talking to the wrong nigga. You're you know doing I mean? the doors. And you're you doing the cellar door now. 
Nah, I ain't doing no doors. You ain't, ain't cha nothing, champ ain't or nothing what? you can do to make me do no doors. Champ or nothing. what? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing or what? Not a what'd, damn you, thing. what'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? What, I'll take what'd your you manhood say? with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you handle things, boss. You want me to give nails to these motherfuckers? Fuck nah. you talking about, just pretty do me boy. A, just do Back me a favor. Fuck up. Just do me a favor. Make sure these motherfuckers stay in line. I'll keep an eye on them for you. Who the fuck are you? I'll blast your pretty head off, motherfucker. What I've done to you, saying what I'm gonna do, like I'm really coming through, like I'm in love with you, man. even when I'm huffing too. Didn't so Gus tell you to board up the I fucking windows? Hey, little man, I don't take orders from nobody. All that fake ass Liberace. And I definitely don't board no damn windows. Sweet James, handle so, that for me. I got you. Forget about the windows, we need weapons. Any other types of weapons here? There's a shed out back on the suit you just fine. Well, what are we waiting for? All right, hold up. Who else we got out there? How about this fucking guy? All right. That'll work. Rex, Trent, Jeremy, Buster. Oh, and you too. What am I supposed to do? You're going to help carry stuff. You got it? Good. Get up and get out. Let's go. Come on. Get out. Oh, some weapons and get the fuck out of here. All right. They made it. Oh, thank God. That property got out there. We get through all this. You interested in doing a little franchise operation out here? I'm not interested. Come on, you can always use a little extra money. What the fuck What are you doing? gonna use that property for? Inbred moose range? Run, run! Damn, she need to run! <laughs> right. We need to stick together. And Gus, if you want to be in charge, be in charge. I don't care. This fighting has to end now. Nice work. I'll take you from here. Are you okay? Do you need anything? I'll be alright. 
Hey, Clint, you got any more of that fresh whiskey? Yeah, there's plenty in the back, but the drinks ain't free. I told you, we should have went to Vail. Nice skiing out that way. Been there a couple of times. Always wanted to go. My friends dragged me to the shithole. You like whiskey? Vodka. Well, come on, let's have a drink. I fail to put some cash on the bar. Put it on my tab, Clint. Bullshit. Put the cash up here. You may not be around to pay your tab. Yo! Go play with that sweet cheeks over Get out of here. Get out of here. Piece of shit. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Thank you, boy. Don't shoot your foot off. Steven, talk to me. Just freak at him. You a freak ass out of home? Just, I, I don't even know what you saw him in the first place. I try to tell myself he's just not worth it. I don't know, I guess he's just showing his true colors now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can I get a gun? Look, why don't you two take your hungry asses to the bar, get something to drink? In fact, have a nice pink lady. Don't forget the fucking umbrella. Oh, fuck you, you thick ass Al Capone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Tell your story walking yeah, to the fuck bar. Fuck you laughing at, bitch. <laughs> Cherry. Shut the fuck up. Head to the bar. Yo, he ain't worth it, man. He ain't worth it. <clears throat> Can I talk to you, please? Emma, not now. I'm conducting business here, please. With who? These punk kids? What, you think you're in your 20s again or something? Watch your tone, Emma. Or what? You're gonna throw me out in the snow to those things like you did to that poor girl? Listen, she fucking deserved it, all right? She was a person, all right? Just like everybody else in this godforsaken lodge. Emma, go sit down and shut up. Excuse you? I will not sit down. Who do you think you are, the king of ten acres? This ain't Long Island, all right? Jesus, New York may not even exist anymore. And another thing, you better start treating me and these people with some fucking respect. Respect? <laughs> respect. You. Yeah. You want me to respect me. you? Mm -hmm. You who are fucking Tony Napoli on my billiard table. Oh, <laughs> Don't deny it. What are you talking about? Don't deny it. Don't even try to lie because I got his cigar case right here. Oh, what? In my pool table, you fucked him. Not once, not twice, three times on that fucking table. What, were you watching, you faggot? Faggot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little peeping Tom. I'll show huh? you, faggot. Get him. That's Pagano. You better put me down right now. What do you, you think you're doing? Ah, that's Pagano. You put me down right now, you yeah, bad yeah, Italian yeah. bastard. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? Yeah. Put me down right now, that's before I shake you. Ah! I go fuck some zombie dick. What? Do I have a problem with this? What are you gonna do, Marty? Please tell me everyone's right behind me. I hope those things fucking get you. Don't worry, I'll be alright. You are nothing but a coward. Please. How the hell are you gonna do that to your own fucking wife? We're supposed to be a team here. We are the team. That's not a team player. Don't forget, Rex and Griffin are upstairs too. Good. So why don't we go upstairs and stand guard and start boarding up some more fucking windows and doors? You fat, pork belly cunt. Your ship is sunk like the Titanic. I'm in charge now. Who the you fuck got a was problem that? with it? Shut the fuck up and listen. I'm in charge. You hear what he's saying to you? If anybody got a problem with it, you come face me. I am if facing not, you. Back up and shut up. Mm -hmm. You shut the fuck up, pretty boy. You hear me? Yo, sweet James, handle my small stuff. Man, come on, man, let's get out of here. 
Well, maybe we should stand guard or something. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll take the roof. <laughs> the roof is really icy up there. Uh, don't worry, I I'll I'll be okay. I I need some fresh air. Plus, you can't get me on the roof. Well, whatever you do, be very very careful up there. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Be careful, Marty. Take care, Amber. Okay. <laughs> Sledgehammer in the door of the room. I'm gonna find me a sniper. Yeah, look. I need some time alone. Give me a minute or two. I will. Watch those assholes. These fucking flesh eaters are killing our business. Alright? Now. If we're gonna get anything out of this fucking thing, we gotta do it now. So, Willie, I want you to go upstairs, start running them credit cards. Run them as high as you can. Because you know, none of these fuckers are gonna survive, so who's gonna know? Just run up whatever you can. You do the same thing with the cards down here. All right? You got it, Clint. Um, well, phones are out. I can't run the cards oh, without the phones. Alright, just gather the cards. We'll run them. Wherever we get to, we'll run them. Alright? This is so messed up. Like, look at these people freaking attack us. Other than Blaze and Brenda, you haven't seen these things any anything but through a window. Me and Casey were up close and personal with these things. Coming in clear, freaking God. Is the dog sled in the, in the shed? Yep, dogs there, sleds there, everything's there. All right, get Pony Boy, tell him to hook up the fucking dog sled. Tell him to get it ready, all right? Have it out on the south side, out by the back door, from the lodge. Okay. You yep. know what I'm yep. talking about? Oh, absolutely. Yes, sure. okay. Brenda. Sweet Brenda. Sweet girl I ever met. something like this. Sports. Actually, speaking of the Super Bowl, I got one. We'll go to the Super Bowl later. Okay. How many bags you got left? Uh, just one actually. So we gotta not waste it. Why did you just bring one? Well, I didn't plan on a zombie apocalypse happening. Love you, babe. I know. All right. Let me freshen up. I feel a little scuzzy. But I like you, scuzzy. Yeah, I bet. Two seconds.
Military trucks or something in the woods and in, in Travis Square. I don't know. Uh, what are they doing here? It's not like anything goes on. Ah! Rainbow, open the door, Rainbow! Donnie, come help us! Yo, what's wrong? What's going on? The door's locked. Rainbow was screaming. He was screaming. I heard it. I don't hear anything. What's up? <laughs> they have the screaming coming from room. Yeah, them too. They're always fucking. They're like two stone test bunnies. Don't be crude. Man, let me tell you. Girl Rainbow, she has her pubes dyed like the color of the rainbow. Hence the name Rainbow. They're fine. Leave them be. Seems pretty quiet to me. Might just be sleeping. I can't believe we talk like that. Cody, just break down the door. It's not gonna happen. I am not knocking on that door, going through that door and watching them fuck. I see enough of that crap in the hood. Yo, champ, go check it out. What the fuck I gotta do everything for? I'm not going in there. What the motherfuck? Oh my god! <laughs> Up, man. Dog, you disgust me. I gotta think about you being in my entourage. You gonna act like that. You need to hold this burner. You need it more than me. Did you guys hear that? Is it the car? I think Jimmy's here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Told you, Jimmy Bacon. It's the best. Clint McCoy. Fuck you wanna know for? Who the fuck are you? Aren't you gonna help us? Suka. We don't do personal favors, baby. Where did you guys come from? Just had to take care of some business out there, you know, uh, do a little damage, you know? Mm -hmm. I like your bat. Where are you from? I like you, you're kinda cute. Thanks, you're kinda cute. You fucking serious? Fuck. Yo, how many people can you fit in that car? Just one. And we just found the one. Good shows, guy. Fuck. Hey, yo, can't you do anything to help us? There's a cabin about a mile back. Go there. Come on, you limp dick. I'm coming, man. Hold your fucking work. Get out of here. He ain't here. Fuck this place. Remember, I'll see you in the movies, kids. See ya, suckers! Aren't you going with him? 
This is like... I told you this fucking shit would happen! I was saying it! That's what were you saying? You're out of your fucking mind! Oh man... Man... What's going on, sweet woman? Hmm? Back the fuck off, man. You're being fucking nuts. Hmm. Amber Bear. <sighs> Cared about you, you know. You wanna know why I've never gone all the way with you? Please tell me, Amber Bear. Because of your small dick. Oh, you know that's not fucking true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I know more than you think. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> For good reason, obviously. Fuck you, Amber. I'm gonna get fucking kill you. Get the fuck off her! I'm gonna fuck you. Don't kill get you. off of her! Come here, you free. What the fuck is that? Don't move.
You say you need cars. You want a car? You come down to the right man. I'm the car king here of Piscataway. And now, just so you'll know, we are in two locations. Also here on Long Island. Yes, I've taken over the family business because I am the best. You want a Prius? I got a Prius. And with every Prius comes an octopus. Because I tell you what, we're hands all over the place. We're on fire over here. In fact, we're so much on fire, I got the fire department standing by. Look at this car right here. Hey, kid, what? you looking to buy this car? Get the hell out of here. You got your piggy bank? No. Get out. Get out. Get, 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 get out. Get, get. I got Mercedes. I got, I got Fords. I got Hyundai. And if you really want it, I got a Hyundai. The Hyundai of all Hyundais. Yes, yeah, it's a special right here. It's slightly used. A little priest had it once back there in Chicago. He didn't need it no more because he wasn't doing nothing. But what the fuck? I got it for you. Ladies and gentlemen, you come right down here to the king of the used car dealers. I am telling you, there's only one king now, the king of Piscataway, and that's me. You come down and see me because, as you know, I've taken over in two, not one, two locations. That's right, two. I've got them both. I got every car you could possibly want, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, come on inside, I'll show you the parts of my car. We got parts for everything. Everything you might need, we got it right here. And I'm telling you, there's nothing else to be here for here. We've got everything. You want cleaners? We got cleaners. You want belts? I got belts up the wazoo. Look at this over here, ladies and gentlemen, right here. I got all kinds of belts. I got fans for the belts. I got cleaners for the belts. I got car polish over here. I got paint over here. And I'll tell you what. And in case you can't figure it out, ladies and gentlemen, right here, the best lube on the market for you and the little princess. Trust me, she can use this. A WD-40 loosens her right up. Works every time. And I'm a gem with this. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, you stop in any time you want. And who do you come down and see? You come down and see me, the car king of Piscataway, in two locations. Piscataway and Long Island. What the fuck is that? You guys can't be really looking for a car. Can you guys drive? Do you guys have licenses? Is there something about you I maybe need to know? Are you sure you got medical coverage? You might need insurance. I got insurance. Hey, hey.